But first, taking a dog to the vet can be a little stressful for both the owner and the pet. Next, how to take the drama out of the appointment. Welcome back, 608 on a Sunday morning. Good morning, everybody. Well, a simple trip to the vet can be anything but, especially if your dog gets stressed out. But Dr. Kelly Ballantyne and Laura Monaco Torelli are both here to help us do simple steps to make your next trip to the vet drama free. So we'll start with you, Laura. What is the key to, to a drama free trip to the vet? Uh, making it lots of fun, doing a little bit of training every time that involves lots of high value treats. Pumpkin's enjoying her special her special little pieces of turkey dog and making it fun and enjoyable for the owner and for their dog. How, how do you achieve fun on the way essentially to the doctor? I mean that, you know, <laughs> don't always go hand in hand. Yeah, well, you know, first is is working closely with your vet clinic. Um, we like to schedule happy vet visits ahead of time. Call, make sure that, you know, things might be a little bit slow in their lobby, um, <laughs> bring some treats and run, you know, run the dogs through some of their simple behaviors. You know, people do a lot of hard work every day training their dogs um, working on some basic training but you know care and training for our dogs is more than just you know sit down um, and teaching tricks it's about teaching that every day cooperative veterinary procedures um, are fun and so quick visits lots of treats and having the vet such as Dr. Ballantyne be involved. Dr. Ballantyne I know it's okay Luna here for example she's right. so calm she's so well behaved here in you know we got bright lights right. here in the studio how, how, how is this possible and I noticed she's on a uh, what, what appears to be a yoga mat. It is a yoga mat so Luna trains on a mat every day and the mat essentially becomes a safe fun place for her to relax and lay down so what owners could do is they could train their dogs on a training mat and then bring that training mat with them to the vet clinic. It'll almost be like a security blanket for them. Um, I've also heard of uh, this concept or notion of bringing your, your pet, your dog, to the vet mm -hmm. even if there's no procedure right. needed. What's the right. advantage there? Well, that's really, really helpful because if every time an animal goes to the veterinary clinic, they have you know, a painful procedure, even a vaccination, they might start to associate that vet visit with that painful procedure. Whereas if we can bring them in for happy visits where they just have fun, do some tricks, get some treats from the veterinary staff, they might actually form a positive association with the well, clinic. Laura, for all the dog owners watching this morning and might be a little bit overwhelmed about all the advice, where can they start? <laughs> uh, you know, finding a trainer that's an advocate of positive reinforcement training, reading the dog's body language, uh, making sure that the dogs are relaxed, and you know, finding a certified trainer that, that that is an advocate for the dog as well as for the owner to really work as a team is a great start. Dr. Ballantyne, I'm sure you see you know dozens of dogs per week. How easy is it to spot one that is uh, you know trained in advance versus uh, versus the ones that just aren't aren't ready? For oh, it? it's very easy. I mean, we can see very. Um subtle signs of fear in our dogs when we walk into the room you know they might stay back and not greet us whereas we could have a dog like Luna where we can tell she's relaxed she's ready to go okay both of you thank you so much for coming in Dr. Kelly Ballantyne and Laura Monaco Torelli thank we really appreciate the us. advice so many dog owners out there I'm sure very much appreciate uh, advice on how to make the vet experience a little more enjoyable and Kim will send it back over to you on the desk all right great ideas thank you so much